Getting started with Linux can be confusing. There are hundreds of distros out there, but don't worry. I'll break it down into the best beginner-friendly options and help you decide which one fits you. All this in less than 5 minutes. When I first switched to Linux, I spent hours scrolling through forums, reading debates, and watching endless comparison videos. It felt overwhelming. But here's the truth. You don't need all that information to start. You just need a quick framework to match a distro with your needs. Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distro for beginners. It has a huge community, great documentation, and almost every software out there supports it. If you're looking for stability, frequent updates, and lots of tutorials online, Ubuntu is the safest choice. It uses the GNOME desktop, which feels modern and clean, though it might take a little getting used to if you're coming from Windows. Plus, it's backed by Canonical, a company that ensures professional level support. The next one is Linux Mint. Linux Mint is perfect if you are switching from Windows. The interface feels familiar with a star menu and a taskbar layout. It's based on Ubuntu, which means you get the same stability, updates, and software compatibility, but with a user interface that's easier for Windows users to adapt to. It also comes with multimedia codecs pre-installed, so you can play music and videos right away. The next one is Fedora. Fedora is a great choice if you want cutting edge software and regular updates. It's often the first to include the latest Linux features, making it popular among developers and tech enthusiasts. It's sponsored by Red Hat so it also gives you a taste of enterprise Linux, but still in a desktop-friendly way. The default GNOME desktop is clean and minimal, and if you want to stay close to the future of Linux, Fedora is where it's happening. Last one, we have Sorin OS. Sorin OS is designed to make Linux as easy as possible for newcomers. It even lets you choose a desktop layout that mimics Windows or Mac OS, so you instantly feel at home. It's lightweight, so it runs well on older hardware, but still looks modern and polished. If you want something that just works out of the box with minimal setup, Sorin OS is a great pick. And that said, choosing a Linux distro doesn't have to be complicated. If you are a beginner, just match your needs to one of these options and start. Because here's the secret, the best distro isn't the perfect one. It's the one you'll actually use every day. So, which distro are you starting with? Drop it in the comments below and I would love to hear your journey. See you in the next video.